Rick Dangerous back at it again, this time with the latest RetroPie 4.8 all up to date, even more games. I'm running this on a one terabyte micro SD, so just to show you, the Pi can handle some pretty large micro SD cards, even though on the wiki you might say differently. Now, this particular image is 724 gigabytes, and you can absolutely run this on a hard drive. The cheaper way to do this is run it on like a SSD or an external hard drive on your Raspberry Pi. That being said, we're going to go ahead and check out the game sets on here, check out what the differences are. You know, you might be just fine with his 512 gigabyte image. It might just be perfect for you. So let's go ahead and we'll go through the games, play a little gameplay, and then share my final thoughts on this one. So starting with the arcade set, you got 690 games. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the A's and do a little scroll here while I talk a little bit about the image. It is 724 gigabytes. It's going to be 778 billion bytes. So even if there was like a 750 gigabyte image, it still wouldn't really work. You've got uh, artwork and you got video snaps on everything. Like look at this, every game. So beautiful, beautiful image, really well made. Um, initially, he made his images with, you know, going for the highest rated games. And when it comes to systems like Wonderswan Color or some of the Japanese systems, um, you know, the ones that were made for the Japanese market, uh, those he he does kind of the best of the best. But you'll see that now that he doesn't have the constraint of only doing 512 gigabytes, you're going to see um, some you know, like PlayStation, we're going to get there in a second. It's like over 500 games. Dreamcast is like over 200 games. So if you're into those CD-based games, this one might be for you. And then uh, you can absolutely get the image. And if you just want some of the games, you can absolutely just load it in a, uh, you know, there's a couple ways of doing it. I even made a video on how to do it. But uh, if you want to open up a Linux-based system and then see what's in here as far as the ROMs and the settings, you can absolutely get um, a hold of that. Now, um, a lot of two-player and the four-player games, which is kind of cool. Like, you'll see when we get down to Ninja Turtles here, it has both the Turtles in Time and the regular Turtles, as well as the two-player and the four-player variants of that. You got your X-Men games, you got your wrestling games. So quite an extensive arcade set. And like I said, it's just really beautiful. It has all the artwork, all the video snaps running really well. As far as bezels, when you're in the game, it has a very generic bezel for, per system, right? So all the arcade games have just an arcade uh, bezel all the you know uh, neo geo games have a neo geo bezel all the you know playstation games just have like a or super nintendo has like a tv crt speakers on each side you got all your street fighters here so sunset riders two player and the four player that's cool not a lot of people include both of those tank force two player and four player there's the turtle games i was talking about and uh yeah i mean quite a quite a collection here a lot of really good games. These games are really good. The Vasara games, really good. All right, we're just about done with arcade. Let's move along to the next system. So we go back. So 699 games here. And you can see it's got the arcade stick in the lower left to see the preferred kind of way to play these games. Daphne, you got seven games. Dragon Slayer, of course. So a lot of people ask about Daphne. Yes, it has it. Second Naomi, you got 14 games. There you go. Monkey Ball is one of my favorites. 3DO, you got 26 games. A lot of people say that the Road Rash here is one of the best ones. 
Uh, you have some other games as well. You got Amiga CD32. And uh, you get quite a bit of Amiga. There's even an experimental Amiga in here as well. We'll get to that in a second. You got Atari 2600, 180, 5200, 47. Look at this artwork. Really nice. It's Atari 7800. Atari Lynx. Coleco. Intellivision. TurboGrafx-16. You got 100 games. TurboGrafx CD. You got 85. Now that's a big... TurboGrafx CD collection. Um, download 2. So quite a few there. Super Graphics, you got 7. Game & Watch, you got 59. NES, you got 285. So, like, Nintendo has... Uh, the NES system has close to 1,000 games around there. So he just picks kind of the best of the best. The ones that got really good reviews and or were, like, fan favorites. A lot of the reviewers liked them or they had a following. Uh, Famicom, only 31. Uh, Family Disk System, 26. Game Boy, 42. SNES, 228. Again, over 700 games here, but only 228. Super Famicom, 107. MSU, 1. These are going to have those uh, soundtracks. I've never actually... This is a pretty large MSU uh, soundtrack. Oh, there's different chapters. Very nice. Got Chrono Trigger Plus. Disney's Aladdin. These games would be a lot of fun. So they're going to have the better soundtrack on here. Being a CD-based game, 1, 2, and 3. Love the artwork, too. Bart's Nightmare. Really beautiful artwork. What a system, too. Oops, I accidentally went in. Uh, you'll see you get these uh, nice little boot-up screens per system. I'm just going to go ahead and select and start to go out of the system really quick. So that's the CRT speakers I was telling you about. Super Game Boy, you got 49. Nintendo 64, you only got 36. And uh, remember, when he first started making images, he put no Nintendo 64 on here. So 64 is better than nothing. The 36, I mean. Game Boy Color, 35. He said he added quite a bit here on the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. I think he's working on some uh, portable, uh, like uh, Amber Nick, as well as the... Um, you know, the Game Boy device that runs the, uh, the CM Game Boy device that runs the, the Pi. All right, and then you got Nintendo DS, 98 games, SG-1015, Master System 160, Sega Genesis 398, Game Gear 42, Sega CD 60. Wow, that's a lot of Sega CD. It's almost all the Sega CDs, if you're into that. Sega 32, 16, Dreamcast. So here you go, 235 games. So let me just go through here and like i said uh really nice artwork you hold down you wait you can get into the um into the actual game and the thing i like is there's a lot of games here that i haven't played because like i said he, he finds some of those more rare games you know like a lot of like this game right disney's donald duck it's actually on a lot of systems now but that's a really good one <laughs> dolphin blue really good one there's so many good games for the dreamcast Um, a lot of these are running on... Oh, you got Half-Life on here. Nice. A lot of these are running on Redream, which is a great Dreamcast emulator. What I notice is when you're in the games, you want to go ahead and hit your Xbox uh, button, that little middle button with the Xbox logo on it, and uh, that'll take you to the settings of the emulator when you're in uh, Dreamcast. And the controls work right out of the gate. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. No issues with the controls whatsoever. So you shouldn't have an issue. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, Vigilante. All right. Neo Geo 109, Neo Geo CD 65, Neo Geo Pocket Color, PlayStation 549. There's a lot of PlayStation games. And so this is where a bulk of the 724 gigabytes is going to be. I, I, I wonder how big this PlayStation folder is. I would imagine it's around 400 gigabytes just for PlayStation. Which I, I'm not mad at. I think this is really cool because the Pi can play PlayStation really well. So if you're into PlayStation, you want like a PlayStation Mini type of thing, you can build your own PlayStation Mini with the Raspberry Pi. And literally, you know, play all these games, have a lot more uh, flexibility as far as the theme, as far as the controls, as far as running, you know, different hacks in the emulator, like the speed hack, the, the you know, the polygon, stuff like that. You can kind of mess with the looks a little bit.
there's even you know you can you can save your your points so you can save your state as well you can rewind you can do all that stuff wow Wow, wow, wow. A lot of good RPGs as well. Ridge Racer, Turbo Mode, Road Rash, all three. Soul Blade, Spider Man, Spyro, one and two. And Year of the Dragon. Street Fighter, the movie. Siphon Filters, Tekkens, Italian Job. Tiny Tank, Tomb Raiders, all the Tony Hawks, Twisted Metal, Vigilante, Warcraft 2, Worms, WWF, X-Men, and there you go. PSP 78 games. Wow. So again, some bigger games. Now these the thing with this is you can go into the emulator like i don't i'm this game has not run well at all like you could play it but it runs very light um you can always lower the resolution like install you know enable frame skip go down to 1x res you can get this thing to run all right but keep that in mind that don't don't have uh don't think it's going to run perfect tony Hawk pro skater 2 underground remix all right, Vetrex 25, Odyssey 2, 15, Amiga 421, CPC 118, Apple 2, 130, 800, Atari 831, Atari ST 134, BBC Micro 24. If you want to really get retro here. Commodore 64, 641, MS-DOS. Wow, quite an MS-DOS collection. That's cool to see. MSX 11, MSX 221, ports. So you've got um, Rick Dangerous, Ultimate Doom, Quake, Scum BM, you got 136, and then uh, Sharp, you got 68,000, Sinclair ZX81, you got 13, ZX Spectrum 250, Open Bore 38, Pico 882, Cody, Options. Four way arcade. Okay, now we get into the collections. Really quick options. Okay, so you do have the bezel project. You can easily get that and install that and run that. Um, and then, like I said, it's on a recent version of RetroPie. So final thoughts are, man, what a ton of systems. I mean, probably one of the most system diverse RetroPie images I've ever seen before. It's super optimized, super ready to go. There's not like, it's running on a stock RetroPie base image. There's a lot of things going for this thing. And if you want a one terabyte image, this might definitely be it, especially considering you're still gonna have like an extra um, couple hundred gigabytes to add to it as well. If you're using a one terabyte hard drive or SS or a uh, micro SD. So, he did an amazing job. Um, it is kind of the best of the best, so you're not going to get every single game, but with the reduced storage, you can absolutely add your own. But anyways, everything works on this thing. It's beautiful. It's been gone through. It's very meticulous. For the, all those things, it's an amazing image. I recommend it. But that's what I think. Let me know you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.